In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to dual mine Rethereum and Zilliqa. I'll show you guys how to set up your bat files and how to set up your flight sheets. So it seems to be that the most popular pair for Ethereum at the moment is seeming to be Zilliqa. Now, Zilliqa has been one of my favorite cryptocurrencies to mine since back within the ETH days. So I'm glad to jump back onto it and get a point to actually start earning some more of this Zilliqa. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how to grab yourself some wallets. I have done a few videos on how to mine Ethereum and Zilliqa and things like that in the past. You know, So feel free to check out the videos on the channel for more information on that. But if you do need to get yourself a wallet for Zill, you can grab a wallet from your Binance. I'll leave a referral link down in the description and you can also uh, set yourself up a wallet on MetaMask for your Ethereum. So it's very, very simple to do. So now assuming that you guys have already downloaded SRB Miner, because that's what you'll need to dual mine this. Now you can use a few other things such as like G Miner and things along those lines. But what you're going to need to do is just download the SRB Miner Multi to 3.4 download that and then what we're going to need to do for windows is we will need to create ourselves a custom bat file now i'm going to open up my bat file so that you guys can see what we are working with and i will be leaving the whole copy and paste of this into the description of this video so you guys can just copy and paste that and make it easy for yourself all you'll need to do is just change the wallet addresses so as you can see here we've got the algorithm eth hash b3 we've got the pull for mining for people and then we have the wallet address plus the name and we also have enable zil pull we've thrown in the eu crazy pull.org like i say crazy pull great guys uh, i did want to uh use easel pull um because i've worked with them before in the past but uh, I wasn't able to actually set that up. And if anybody knows down uh, in, you know, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section if you know how to set this up with just mine Zilliqa only from EasyPool. Uh, but aside from that, um, you just throw your Zill wallet in there and Zill dash EMS and put number two for that for yourself. Like I say, this can look a little bit different depending on which GPU you're running on. But as I say at the moment, I'm using this on a 3090 and everything is going just fine at the moment. So. All you need to do is I would recommend just copying this from my description. I would say go to the downloaded folder for the SRB miner that you've that you've created. Create yourself a new text document. Call that RFH. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change that in a second. Paste the text document or the bat file contents into there. Press save as. Take yourself back over to the desktop. And let's find the folder 3.4. And then let's call this plus zil. And then put lowercase dot bat. Save that. Close that off. And if I go just to here, as you can see right underneath, there is a bat file so that I can run this on my system. So if I just run this now. And as well on SRB Miner, I've noticed that they've got no dev fee for Zill Mining, so that could be a bit of a bonus there as well for anybody that's interested in, you know, jumping on there for that. So as you can see, we are now, you know, successfully mining on our system. Now, I'll show you guys how to set this up as well on to your Hive OS. Like I say, for myself, I'm having a few issues with my Hive OS at the moment. Uh, it's been down for 18 days. Uh, my rig has, uh, I, I, maybe the Ethernet port has broken, but for some reason I can't get that set up. So maybe I might need to uh, throw in like a, a, a Wi-Fi dongle or something along those lines, maybe to get that back and running. But either way, I'll still show you guys how to set this up. So what we're gonna do is first coin ticker, RTH for Ethereum. We're going to put in there your wallet. Like I say, if you haven't got a wallet, create a wallet in your MetaMask, then paste the address into there, enter the wallet name, and then just press the create from there. Then you'll have your wallet. The pool, myself personally, I'm using the minor four people. And we'll go from there. And I'm going to say Germany as probably the closest place to myself. Then for the miner, we will use SRB miner again. Like I say, if you are using HiveOS and you haven't been on your account in a fair few days, please make sure to update your HiveOS account to make sure that you're using the most up to date SRB miner. And then we will need to take ourselves over to the dual coin ticker, type in there Zill. 
like I say, as mentioned before, you may need to create yourself a wallet, but I do have a wallet already in there. But like I say, go to add wallet, go to your Binance, copy the address, paste that in there, enter the wallet name, just name it as Binance or whatever you like. And then we're going to pick the pool. Like I said, we're going to be using Crazy Pool for this. And I'm in EU at the moment, so I will press on EU. Like I said, if you're in any of the others, press any of the others for yourself. Then you can just name this whatever you like. And we'll name it just this. And then we will create the flight sheets. Now, also, guys, do not forget, okay, to do your overclocks on your GPUs. Like I say, you can use plenty of websites, hashrates.no. I know Juliano kaju has got a website that you guys can jump on and check. Um, but I would recommend just to go through, find the crypto that you're going to be mining. And from there, I would say do a rough basis and, you know, tweak your overclock settings just to make sure that you don't burn anything, you know, throw any of the cards uh, or set any of your cables on fire or even be using way too much power than you'd need to do, okay? Because sometimes to make, you know, mining profitable, sometimes you do need to bring that power down and find yourself a nice little juicy spot so that you can earn the most. So once you have connected your, you know, self up, you've put your, you know, your flight sheet in, you've done your thing, check yourself, take yourself over to your you know the crazy pool or if you use a different pool and have a look over at your accounts so as we can see the proof of work windows for zill are pretty much i think it's every 60 minutes or is it every 90 minutes i'm not sure maybe i'll see in two minutes um but what it does is only it just switches from mining the ethereum and it starts mining zillica for a I think it's around about 10 minutes or something within that time and then you'll get rewarded from that and it barely affects any of your earnings for ethereum so it's you know when you when it comes to you know dual mining sometimes you triple mining it can work out quite beneficial for you right so there you have it guys you should now be successfully mining on ethereum and zilliqa let me know down in the comment sections what dual mining pairs you guys are currently mining on right now even if it isn't ethereum or even zilliqa also guys don't forget to check out the channel and check out the discord and the uh, check out our Twitter as well. We've currently got a giveaway from the Fry Foundation at the moment. They're giving away three of their BYOD devices or licenses, should I say? So that means you can set up your own hardware or devices and start earning passive income from those. So if that's something that sounds uh, of interest to you, or you love earning passive income, like setting up nodes or things along those lines, then check out the video as you can see right here. I'll leave a link for you guys down in the description. Also, check out the pinned comment. I'll be linking a tweet for the giveaway so you guys can go and jump in and get involved from there. Right, guys, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.